So what is what is Streets of Prayer? Streets of Prayer is a prayer, a family, and an app. And I want to invite you to pray the prayer with me right now. Dear Father in heaven, we pray that you would raise up one billion believers to help us cover every person in the world by name and every street in persistent prayer by 2030 so that every single person on the face of the earth will become saved and come to the knowledge of the truth and that Jesus would come back soon. The second thing, it's a family. We're an international growing family that prays for each other, the lost, and the streets we walk on. The third thing, it's an app. You can get the app from the Google Play Store, the App Store, and you can use it on a web browser, on your PC or MacBook Pro. Um, a little bit about me, I'm a software developer for over 24 years. Um, I worked in private industry, and then in January 2020, I quit my job to start Streets of Prayer. And um, as of 2021, we became a nonprofit, and most of it's been self-funded, but as of recently, we brought in about 30K in donations since becoming a nonprofit. Um, I came to know Jesus in around 91. The greatest thing ever happened to me. Um, I was excited sharing the gospel um, and, involve, and volunteering in my church, but the one thing that was always lacking was prayer. I didn't like to pray, didn't know how to pray really, and, um, and this, to be frank, the culture of the church wasn't much of prayer either, and um, I didn't really think about it much. But fast forward to 2010, I got married, and then when we started talking about having children around 2012, 2013, that's when I started really thinking something's not right with my walk with God. I realized I feared God, um, but I really didn't enjoy God that much. Um, my, I, and that really manifested itself in my prayer life. It was pretty much non-existent. And, I, and when we started talking about having children, I just was thinking, man, I don't want to have children, bring them into a sin-cursed world. This child may or may not go to heaven. And the best we can do is just kind of wait around till Jesus comes back. And, and, and that was kind of the turning point for me to start reevaluating my relationship with God. And um, around that time, I read Luke 11, um, and I've read that many times before, but this time it hit me in a new way where Jesus talked about persistently asking. And he particularly talks about asking for the Holy Spirit. And so I thought, you know, I've never done that before. So I'm going to ask for the Holy Spirit every day until I die and see what happens. And that's what I did. Every day I started to ask for the Holy Spirit, a five-minute prayer. Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Well, after three months, I started to see dramatic changes. I, used to, I went from a five-second prayer to a one-minute prayer to five-minute prayer to 30-minute prayer to the point where I just wanted to pray. I just loved being with God, and, 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 and I was fine with that, and, but God said, expanded my prayers. He said, you know, just the way I answered your prayer, what if you started praying for the people in your life that don't know the Lord, don't know me, and you prayed with them with that kind of persistence? You prayed for them um, either until they're saved or they die. And I thought, wow, this could be awesome. And so that kind of birthed this vision for every believer, including myself, to pray for seven so that we could cover every person in the world by name. And then as I was praying, I was walking around my neighborhood, and God put it on my heart to pray for one of my neighbors. And I prayed for this guy for two years. And he didn't know my name. I didn't know his name. But one day, January, June 4th, 2017, he came up to me and out of the blue and shared with me over the next couple months that he not only wanted to end his life, but he wanted to end his ex-wife, her husband, and potentially blow up a building because he was becoming terrorized by demons. And God, he felt this, this message to come and talk to me about it. And I realized how powerful prayer is that God intercepted this, this wicked act. And so um, November 20th, 2017, I went to bed and had a dream that the whole world was being covered in red and, and it said, what if these streets were streets of prayer? So I woke up around 3 in the morning, Googled streets of prayer, found that it didn't exist. So I bought the domain name, and right then and there, I started developing the app to cover the world in prayer, every street. And I realized if 500 million 
One eighth of the professing built Christians in the world would prayer walk a 15 minute route. We could cover the whole habitable earth in prayer. And then before that, I was like, if every believer prayed for seven unbelievers, we could cover every person in the world by name. So that was the birth of Streets of Prayer in the vision. And so um, five years later, this is where we're at. We have 1,439 Streets of Prayer family members that spread across the globe, most of them in the United States. 10, 000, 3, 10, 000, a little over 10,000 unbelievers covered in persistent prayer. We have um, all, just under 1,000 prayer focus areas on the map. That's areas people are prayer walking. And then 106 new believers because of our prayers. So our strategy is simple, reproducible, and immediate. It can start right now. The first step is every believer persistently asking to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We can't do this without the Holy Spirit. Second, every believer praying for seven unsaved, belief, unsaved people in their life and persistently praying for them until they come to know the Lord and taking no for an answer. They must be saved or I have to die. Step three, you claim and prayer walk an area on the map that you visit, that you love, uh, your neighborhood, your school, and just keep prayer walking and praying. Let the knowledge of the glory of the Lord cover this place as the waters cover the sea. Step four, to expand the vision, every believer invites 12 believers over the next year to invite them on this journey of praying for seven and prayer walking a neighborhood. And from there, if each believer prays for seven, walks a prayer walk area, and prays for the Holy Spirit, and then invites 12 to do the same. By 10 years, we can have 1 billion believers praying for the whole world. And then those, that step five is those 12 people become a prayer family where they pray for each other, pray for their lost, pray for their neighborhood. If all goes well, by 2030, the whole world's covered in prayer. And how did it start? One person who didn't like to pray and one desperate prayer. 